Hey guys, and welcome to the last Star Wars Battlefront 2 class overview video. In this final video, we're taking a look at the Specialist class. Specialists employ deadly traps to harry enemy forces, reveal battlefield intelligence to their comrades, and snipe at enemies with long distance weaponry. Specialists are the tricksters of the battlefield. They're extremely powerful on defense and create openings for assault and heavy classes by eliminating threats. This is your average sniper class for any game. Most, most games will have an assault heavy officer and sniper class. This is your sniper class, but luckily they are armed with weapons that make them usable in medium to short range, also if enemies get close enough to you. As a specialist, you should be striking from hiding as they rely on stealth and position to finish foes before they ever see a threat coming. Each class can equip star cards to modify and enhance their combat abilities. The default abilities for the specialists are the, the scout binoculars. These you can pull out and you can see enemies behind walls and spot them for your team. And when you spot an enemy in your lines of sights, the entire team will be notified. The infiltration ability is this class's main ability. It reveals all enemies on your radar and pulls out the iconic and dreaded EE4 medium blaster rifle. And this does huge amount of damage to enemies that are close to you and every time you get a kill, the cooldown on the blaster resets so you can just use the ability back to back to back until you don't get kills anymore and then it will eventually run out. And the last ability is a shock stun grenade, I forgot the exact name, but when you throw it it will explode and all enemies caught in the blast will be slowed down and I think those in the immediate blast might be immobilized, I could be wrong about that, but this slows down your enemies so it makes them easier to pick off and snipe. Each class has multiple star card slots. Select from a huge variety of star cards to equip your class with unique abilities and boosts. An example of a star card for the specialist class is the resourceful star card. When activated, all of your abilities have a faster recharge time, so this is very useful for the specialist with its EE4 infiltration ability. Once it runs out, it will recharge at a 15% faster speed for the common star card. Another example is... The Stealth Star Card. With this one activated, you remain hidden from enemy scanners when firing your weapon, and you deal increased melee damage. So when you fire your weapon, you won't be seen on enemy uh, radar, and you will be able to do higher damage when you punch instead of the normal 50. The um, Uncommon, I think, is the lowest class. The Uncommon boosts your damage from 50 to 65, so that is very helpful for getting behind an enemy and punching them if your weapon is on cooldown. If this overview got you interested in using the specialist class or helped you play the specialist class a little bit better, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe on the video. It is greatly appreciated. And I would also like to thank you all for helping me reach my 2017 goal of 100 subscribers. I checked today and I got my 100th subscriber. So I'd like to thank you all so much that made me very happy. So until the next video, may the force be with you.